Evening YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra GFS with another video. I have my BC Rich out and I have a tune to uh, Drop D. Okay.
This is your first one. I'll start way back here. Okay, let's try it again from the top. What's up? Iron Man. Mm. <laughs> oh, Josh can't play guitar. Josh sucks so at guitar. Really? I sat down and we learned Iron Man. Ring riff. <laughs>
diamond right there. Look, yeah. <laughs> So there you go, Iron Man. Let's see, what else can I learn on a guitar? Hmm. Um, let's see, Green Day September Ends Tabs. Okay. Wait, before I do that, I'll go back and like that video because that's just fucking awesome. Okay. And for this video, we watch Noobs to Shink. Nice, clean sounding guitar. So imagine what we tune for Stuart for the rest of the uh, ha, ha, standard tuning for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to online guitar tuner. Usually I have Hendrix tuning is what I usually use, but um which I don't see it used on here, so wait, 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 wait. See I use Hendrix tuning, which is but let's see if that Okay. Martin Short's song. Oh, check it out. He's even got the acoustic with it. Awesome. Okay, let's see what we got here.
what's up? Marty Schwartz here. Going to teach this uh, nice little ditty for you. And uh, if you want to learn the next part, you uh, can request it at guitarjams.com. But let's learn this little piece right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put our ring finger on the uh, fifth fret of the D string. And really... Fifth fret. the tip of your finger so it's not we don't want this finger blocking the next string all right which is a lot of people end up doing that when they first learn this if they're cool. a beginner so the tip of our finger there and then our first finger is going to go on the third fret third fret of the okay. B string right there that one second to last string there and that's our first little chord and the intro just starts with Pick each note. The singing comes in, it does that pattern once. Then what we're going to do is ring finger there is going to come off like that. And my middle finger is going to go a half step below where my ring finger was on the fourth fret, and then I'm going to play that same pattern twice. Here's the first two. take my first finger and I'm going to put it on the second fret of the D string. And then I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on the third fret, uh, sorry about that, on the third fret of, uh, of the B string. And we play the same picker, picking pattern again. So here's the first three. Okay, so we have and then we took that off and put it right there like that. Okay, so all I need to work on is the second and third one, so I'm going to go back. Okay. The middle finger and put it on the third fret. Okay, middle finger on the third fret, and let's see some of this one. Uh, sorry about that. On the third fret of, uh, of the B string. And we play the same picker picking pattern again. Second half. So cool, cool. So let's go back to the first. Go again. So here's the first three. Uh, yeah, Little finger. Okay, so basically it's this, but you take that off and just put it right there. That's fine, okay. Bird. 
first finger. Alright, so let's repeat these two. So it's just a string down, okay, that makes sense. Again, I'm going to take my first finger off and let it be open. Same picking pattern. Okay, let me do that whole thing one more time. Here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing it's... Alright, it's just, just guesswork. Shit. Um, okay, so I'll start the video over. Marty Schwartz here. Going to teach this uh, nice little ditty for you. And uh, if you want to learn the next part, you uh, can request it at guitarjams.com. But let's learn this little piece right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put our ring finger on the uh, fifth fret of the D string. And really try and use the tip of your finger so it's not, we don't want this finger blocking the next string. Sure. A lot of people end up doing that when they first learn this. If they're a beginner. So the tip of our finger there, and then our first finger is going to go on the third fret of the B string. Right there. That one, second to last string there. And that's our first little chord. And the intro just starts with... You just pick each note. Boom, 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 boom. singing comes in, it does that pattern once, then what we're going to do is ring finger there is going to come off like that, and my middle finger is going to go a half step below where my ring finger was on the fourth fret, and then I'm going to play that same pattern twice. Here's the first two. finger and I'm going to put it on the second fret of the D string. And then I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on the third fret, uh, sorry about that, on the third fret of, uh, of the B string. And we play the same picker picking pattern again. So here's the first three. Stop, stop, the victim, stop, stop. Little finger. Why is that? No, it's not my spine. 
first finger, second fret of the D string, middle finger, well, third fret of the B string. That pattern twice. Then, same picking pattern again, but I'm going to take my first finger off and let it be open. Same picking pattern. Stop. Okay, it was bullshit. It was like clicking. <sighs> okay. Let's go back to the video again. Uh, just make sure. I wasn't stopping. Okay. So, fuck. Well, I'm just trying to show people that I am capable of learning guitar. I'm not some complete fucking retard who's always learning guitar. But, yeah. I was just taking time to learn guitar. So, two songs to learn. Iron Man and Green Day. <laughs> So it's just... Hey, what's up? Marty Schwartz here. Going to teach this uh, nice little ditty for you. And uh, if you want to learn the next part, you uh, can request it at guitarjams.com. But let's learn this little piece right here. Okay, uh, what let's... we're going to do is we're going to put our ring finger on the uh, fifth fret of the D string, and really try and use the tip of your finger so it's not, we don't want this finger blocking the next string, which is a lot of people end up doing that when they first learn this. So tip our finger there, and then our first finger is going to go on the third fret. Pick each note. Boom, 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 And then when the singing comes in, it does that pattern once. Then what we're going to do is ring finger there is going to come off like that. And my middle finger is going to go a half step below where my ring finger was on the 4th fret, and then I'm going to play that same pattern twice. So here's the first two. Middle finger to the 4th fret on the D string, same picking pattern. One more time. take my first finger and I'm going to put it on the second fret of the D string. Second fret D string. Second fret A B A. And then yep, third string. All right. I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on the third fret. Uh, sorry about that. On the third fret of uh, of the B string. And we play the same picker picking pattern again. So here's the first key. Okay, so we got that one and okay, so we get it. Third fret of the B string. That pattern twice. 
Then, same picking pattern again, I'm going to take my first finger off and let it be open. Same picking pattern. Okay, let me do that whole thing one more time. Okay, the whole thing. I think the problem is, personally with me, I'm going to rush to get really, really good time really fast. So, um, and just sitting down like this and learning a song on like Green Day, just something simple, you know, and working way up to more difficult stuff. And it's not challenging for me at all. Now what he does uh, on the original, uh, I was watching him do it live, he goes to this bar chord right here. So I'm going to teach it to you this way first with the bar chords, but then if you're a beginner and you're just trying to get through it, I do have kind of a way that I developed for some of my um, beginner students where they can still make it sound like the song. All right? So we're going to take this C major bar chord and we're going to pick... Let's have a count. One, two, third. One, two, third. Right there, like that. He kind of strums it a little bit, so we're going to just kind of... <laughs> so we kind of can pick the, the first two notes, the A string and the D string. <laughs> then I'm going to turn the C major chord. C minor chord, and it looks like this. And this this little chord progression was developed um, by the Beatles long ago, and Green Day has used it quite a bit. And we're going to do that same picking pattern. Ooh, okay, so we got that one, and that's going to go. Okay, let's take a look here. First finger stays right there. Second finger is going. Looks like third string. Um, right there, like that. Bar, okay, and then we go down like that, down like that, down like that. Uh, um, let's see what he has to say. It's like that, so it goes. Okay, so it was. Um, 
Oh, G5. Okay. So do a G. G. So this is your G chord. It's got the middle finger right there. Okay. And yeah, it looks like. that little turnaround one time. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I go back to chord thing. What's a minor chord? So let's let's see. This way it takes. Does sound like it? Okay. Oh, let's take a look here. Um, bar chord. Um, third fret, like that, that's the first two strings, let's see, it's the third string, one, two, three, and back to the two, and back to the three. <laughs> Okay, so hmm. well, I will in this song, but as you can see, I've got a good start on it. Um, so yeah. Um, this is my first song that I'm on guitar, September and Green Day, so, yeah. But, um, uh, a quick review of the opening. Hopefully, um, you know, when I'm practicing guitar, I'll just make it, I'll do one thing at a time, you know, um, I'll take a break from my shredding practice and, uh, work on some songs, so, I, you know, if I play a couple of gigs, you know, I could go, but once you're a green day, ah, what's the temper ah, okay, you know, I'll start playing, sing along to it, you know, so, yeah. Turn my guitar, set this bad boy down. 
Um, yeah. So. Some people have accused me of not taking my guitar playing seriously enough or not taking the time to actually learn guitar and just going crazy. You can't do it, that just proves you're wrong. <laughs> and the thing that people hate most is being proved wrong and being told they're stupid. Two things, okay? And it was Green Day. So, and you played Iron Man, fuck yeah, dude. It's been a while since I played the riff, I was always, you know, doing that hands in the air, so, yeah. Um, holy shit, almost an hour long video. Yeah. Fuck it, I need a cigarette. So, let's see what I got. One, two, three, four. Got five reds left. Oh, well, no problem, no problem. I got the pack, um, yesterday. Last night, so I went through a whole pack in a night and a half, almost a day and a half. So, that was just me showing that I can make attempts at being sitting on practicing. Oh, granted, one, it's being lazy, and two, it's frustration with myself because I can't get perfect the first time. I'm a very a, um, perfectionist. But, um,. I just like that video, so I'm on on that song, and once I've on that song, mastered, where I just play it without having to remember, you know, I'll then move on to the next project or song. I might, I might even take on Iron Man, you know, like, make out the first two songs that I fully know and learn, so. Sky's the limit, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But. I also got like 10 songs I like to play that I like to listen to on my belch. Then I'll look, I'll probably go back into um, learning how to um, sweet pick more accurately and then I can at least say, hey, I can play 10 songs, yay, you know. So, <clears throat> granted, I have to be more patient with myself and actually sit down and learn as I've just proven I can do it. It's just a matter of applying myself and doing it. So, Um, uh, so, you know, maybe I'm not making YouTube videos, <laughs> you know, with that, um, um, you know, take a break from YouTube for a couple hours to just sit down, play Green Day until I get the song right, so. But review what I know, and then look at it and go, okay, what do I need to work on next? Okay, the A bar chord, and the A minor bar chord, and then the rest of it. And just keep playing until I master it, you know, that's how, you, that's how you're supposed to play guitar, that's how the, all the great musicians of guitar started, but, you know, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw a BB gun. Let's check on it, see how it's doing in the drawing process. Um, I pushed the, um, paper towel, or the, the, the Kleenex into the gun to create like a, um, into the handle to create like a paper mache to fill the holes up, kind of, and it seems to dry nicely. Let's take this bad boy out and clean up the window. The paint's dried nicely, so, okay. See what I did there? I filled it in with, um, I didn't have to sand it off or anything, I just kind of pushed it into the hole to act as a filler, and, um, I put it on my hand right here, and there's no paint when I pushed, pushed down on it, so. Well, there you have it. Got me a sawed off Mossberg, or not Mossberg, I'm sorry, Crossman, <laughs> Pup Master, and, um, yep. Yeah. It's dried quite nicely, and it's still fires. So, there you have it, folks. Uh, well, my dad bitches me out. I'll be like, look, dude, 
It's in my own apartment. I make my own fucking rules, okay? You said that yourself. I get my own place. I can do whatever the fuck I want, so... Yeah. Of course, last time I did something like this to my... One of my BB guns, it wasn't working, and my pants clipped shit, and I didn't actually add take time to add the, paper, the, the Kleenex to it, so... This seems that that dried up nicely. I don't think I added enough to it right here, or right... Right here, it's alright, but right here, I think I'm going to add more to it later. So, we shall see. Um... Uh, it seems to have dragged quite nicely, like I said, so... Yeah. Now I've got my ZRT runs. I'll bring this with me. <laughs> so... So, yeah, it's a little sticky, but it's not coming off the paint, so still drying a little bit, but it's getting there. Um, not the most professional job in the world, but it gets the job done. So, yeah, right here is fine for the cleanest, but right here is a little, little uh, centimeter there off, so I might, I'll probably be continue adding to it until it's, until it's full. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty sick. That turned out pretty fucking sick, if I do say so myself. Um, right here's not not a problem. I mean, it's a little. It's actually at the. It is like a, a sheet off. So I'll keep working with it until it's dead center with the with the sides here, so it's not with this gapping hole. But yeah, so it's getting there. It's getting there. So. So I'm, I'm broke, I have no money, so, but I'm making the best of it, you know, working on a sound off BB gun and learning how to uh, play guitar, you know, keeping it, keep, and I keep myself entertained, basically, but, and I could go in, you know, I'm going to finish that up there and make it look nice, so, uh, as far as the paint and the handle goes, I put extra coat of paint on there to help seal the crack up better, so that way it wouldn't split when I was using it, so. I don't know how durable it is, but um, real careful with it. I don't want the plastic and the handle breaking off because that would suck. So, but. okay. Let's see what we can do here. Take on safety. Make sure it's on safety first. Okay, it's on safety. All right, cool. Um, I'm not sure what I can do here is just, um, set that down like that. And That levels it out to where it's supposed to be. Okay. And the bottom here will be the same thing.
Uh, can you just keep doing that until it's dead center of the line here? So the paint being a little sticky, it will dry on itself. And I'll just turn another coat of paint. So. So as soon as I'm gonna get it. Okay, and then the same thing for the other one. Um. It's a very good old <laughs> saw off baby gun. Like I said, I don't have plastic filler, otherwise I'd use something like that to fill in the holes with plastic, but this um, paint-based Kleenex mache seems to be working quite nicely. Alright, got another layer going in there, so let's get it up on the vice clamp and do it again. At least my bills are paid though, so <coughs> <coughs> like I said, it could be worse.
Excuse me. Top part's good. It's close to what I really get it. I don't know how we can do some more. So. Some YouTubers like to use time lapse to make this shit go really fast so you can see, you know, but save time, but you know, that's just, that's not real, dude. It's, you know, it's fake. Good for them, for you know, they're going to save time, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you know, get, you know this, this, this kind of thing takes a long time. People think, some people are just stupid, like, oh, it takes like two minutes to make this, holy shit, it's cool, you know. Truth of the it takes a lot longer than that, people. Some people just use duct tape or something like that to, you know, taper up, but just makes it look a little bit more original. Not as like it's, you know, it was homemade, but like it was put together. For distance, and you go, what the hell did you use? I use Kleenex and paint as a paper mache as a bit of oh, that's cool. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little edge around it here just to make sure it evens out. I 
I might have some leather lying around the apartment here from working on the lawns I could probably use to go over the handle here. I don't know, I might just leave it like this. Let's see what how it turns out when it's done. So far I'm liking the results here, the results are looking magnificent, if I can say so myself. I mean, yeah, for show as well, too. You know, this is good for planting and shooting cans with, but at the same time, it's like, well, you know, you know, you take pride in your work, what you do with life, you know, and, and as long as you get something, you can say, you know what, I did that and I'm proud of it, you know. Just got something. <coughs> Even that nicely. Now, there's a lot of tiny pieces here, so I want to stick to the brush. So I'm just going to hold that down while I paint it. This is a little bitch and time consuming bitch to do, but trust me on this. If it all goes according to plan, it will be worth the hassle. And you don't have to do this for your song off you begun. This is just something I chose to do on the spot because I figured those holes are going to be filled up and I don't have any plastic to fill them up with. So. When tissues wind it up, it gets really, you know, it swells up and then it just, you know.
right, that looks looking good. Round two of the drawings, so let's see. That's where the drawings, how it looks. You know, the first coat, the first layer did beautifully, so let's see what the second layer does. Okay. Fucking sweet. Alright, watch the paper. Alrighty, let the paintbrush dry along with the, everything else. And the only unfortunate thing of working paint is, like I said, it's missing, so. There's water up tissue off my desk. That's gonna look really bad to anyone that comes in. <laughs> like, why is there water up tissue by your computer? Oh, I was using it to make, um, paper mache mold for my sound off BB gun, you know. Putting in the stock with the holes I have to fill it in. And they go, uh huh, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, um, a long video. Again, really? Mm. Oh well. Until then, this is a uh, King Cobra Jeff Fest with another video, and that sucker dries nice and good. I'll uh, show it to you guys. <laughs> that sounded bad, didn't it? Oh well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.